we're counting down the seven most game-changing projects that prove India is transforming not just its own future, but the world's. From audacious new trade routes slicing through crisis zones to digital backbones challenging global data powers, these entries represent a seismic shift in how nations move goods, energy, and military might. Each project is ranked by the scale of its global impact and the risks India had to take, from engineering feats under fire to mega corridors that could redraw the balance of power from the Gulf to Europe. Which build truly shocked the world the most? Let's begin the countdown with number seven. Number seven, the India, Myanmar, Thailand Trilateral Highway cuts through some of the world's most volatile terrain, linking Northeast India directly to Southeast Asia. This 1,360-kilometer route promises to reroute trade and military mobility across the region, ending decades of isolation for India's northeastern states. Nearly 1,200 kilometers are already paved, but progress slows at the major river crossings where engineering crews contend with both monsoon floods and the constant threat of insurgent attacks. Ethnic militias in Myanmar have repeatedly sabotaged construction, forcing delays and heightening security costs. If completed, the highway could transform India's access to ASEAN markets, shifting the narrative from dependence on a single, vulnerable corridor to genuine autonomy in regional trade. Number 6. Kolkata Metro Line 6 plunges up to 40 meters below the city, carving a 27-kilometer path beneath neighborhoods once paralyzed by gridlock. Tunnel boring machines, engineered for Kolkata's waterlogged clay, have set new benchmarks for urban tunneling in India. With a project budget of 35 billion rupees, this deep tunnel transforms daily commutes, moving thousands of riders away from jammed surface roads into a system built for speed and reliability. The technical feats here, precision tunneling beneath dense infrastructure, are now a template for metro projects across Asia. What began as chaos on Kolkata's streets now signals a leap in Indian engineering ready for export. Number 5. The Digital India Subsea Cable Network stretches 15,000 kilometers beneath the world's oceans linking India directly to Asia, Africa, and Europe. With 12 planned landing stations and a budget of 150 billion rupees, this project aims to shift India from digital vulnerability to sovereignty. Until now, most of India's internet and data traffic relied on foreign-owned cables, exposing the country to surveillance risks and potential disruptions. By building its own fiber backbone, India is asserting control over its digital future and reducing reliance on Western or Chinese infrastructure. This move triggers diplomatic friction as neighboring states worry about surveillance and data security. Cyber attacks loom as a constant threat, but the sheer scale of the network marks a turning point. India is no longer just a consumer of global data routes, but a power shaping them. Number 4. The Andaman and Nicobar military base expansion marks a decisive shift in India's maritime posture. Work is underway on a new deepwater harbour, now 60% complete, designed to anchor India's largest naval vessels just off the Malacca Strait, one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world. The runway extension on these islands will soon support long-range p 8 y surveillance aircraft, giving India eyes deep into the Bay of Bengal and beyond. Radar arrays and new drone bases are being installed, creating a sensor web across the eastern Indian Ocean. This buildup directly counters China's so-called String of Pearls, a network of ports and outposts stretching from Myanmar to Africa. But the expansion is not without backlash. Environmental groups warn of habitat destruction, while indigenous communities protest the loss of ancestral land. Beijing, meanwhile, labels the upgrades a provocation, raising the stakes in an already tense Indo-Pacific. What was once an isolated outpost is fast becoming a forward operating hub, projecting Indian power further than ever before. Number 3. The Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor stretches 1,500 kilometers across the heart of India forging a high-tech manufacturing axis between the nation's two largest cities. This isn't just a highway or a rail line, 
It's a $100 billion blueprint for six massive industrial nodes, each designed as a smart city with integrated logistics, power, and export parks. The corridor's dedicated freight rail has already begun to reshape supply chains, cutting transport times for goods from days to mere hours. Planners project up to 3 million new jobs as factories, warehouses, and tech hubs rise along the route. But the transformation comes at a cost. In Punjab and Maharashtra, land acquisition has sparked fierce farmer protests, with families demanding fair compensation and transparency in public-private contracts. Allegations of cost overruns and opaque deals have dogged the project from the start. Yet the scale is hard to ignore. What was once a patchwork of scattered factories is being replaced by a planned economic powerhouse, with the potential to vault India into the ranks of global manufacturing leaders. The stakes are clear. Chaotic growth or disciplined ambition? India is betting big on the latter. Number 2. Chabahar Port in Iran stands as India's boldest move to escape the chokehold of regional rivals and sanctions. For decades, Indian trade with Central Asia and Europe detoured through long, piracy-prone sea lanes, all while Pakistan's geography blocked any direct land access. Chabahar changes the map. With a deep-water terminal operated by India Ports Global Limited under a fresh 10-year contract, the port handles up to 2 million containers a year, enough to rival regional giants. India has already poured in $120 million in direct investment, plus a $250 million credit line to upgrade the port and extend its reach. The linchpin is the Chabahar Zahedan rail link. 110 kilometers are finished, with the rest crawling forward under the shadow of US sanctions and local insurgency. Every shipment that moves through Chabahar bypasses Pakistan entirely, plugging India straight into the international north-south transport corridor and on toward Europe. But the port's transformation from dependency to independence comes at a price. Pakistan has protested Indian military escorts on the Zahedan line, calling them a violation of sovereignty. The US, after years of waivers, now threatens secondary sanctions, leaving Indian banks and insurers exposed to American penalties. Security is tight. Balak insurgents have targeted the region forcing Indian interests to rely on a mix of local forces and naval patrols. Despite these risks, Chabahar stands as one of the only major ports built and run by a rival power on foreign soil. The stakes are clear. If Chabahar succeeds, India gains a permanent Arabian Sea gateway and a launchpad for even bigger transcontinental corridors still on the drawing board. And finally, in first place, the India, Middle East, Europe Economic Corridor signals a seismic shift in the world's energy and trade map. Stretching nearly 3,700 kilometers from Indian ports on the Arabian Sea to the Mediterranean, this corridor is more than a pipeline or a railway. It's a new spine for Eurasian commerce. The plan calls for a $50 billion investment in combined energy, transport, and digital infrastructure. With formal backing from India, the Gulf states, the European Union, and the United States. If realized, IMEC would cut cargo transit times between Asia and Europe by up to 40%, bypassing the Suez Canal and the Russian land routes that have dominated for decades. For Europe, the promise is clear. Gulf gas and goods delivered through a secure, diversified corridor, reducing reliance on Russian and North African suppliers. For India, it's a leap in diplomatic clout, transforming from a regional player to a central hub in global supply chains. But the corridor's ambitions come with outsized risks. The proposed pipeline and LNG network must cross some of the world's most volatile territory, with compressor stations and digital nodes exposed to sabotage or political brinkmanship. Financing remains a moving target, especially in regions like Jordan and Israel where a $5 billion gap could stall progress. Security planners warn that each compressor station and fiber optic junction is a potential choke point. One attack could halt flows for weeks. Meanwhile, the corridor's success depends on an uneasy coalition of partners, 
some of whom remain locked in regional rivalries, yet the stakes could not be higher. If IMEC delivers, it sets a new standard for transcontinental infrastructure, one that challenges the dominance of both China's belt and road and Russia's energy pipelines. What began as a diplomatic vision at the G20 summit now stands as the ultimate test of whether multilateral infrastructure can outpace the old order. In a world hungry for new routes and new alliances, India's boldest project may be the one that truly shocks the global system. From the insurgent-threatened India-Myanmar-Thailand highway to the game-changing India-Middle East-Europe economic corridor, this list reveals how India's infrastructure ambitions are redrawing the map far beyond its borders. The most shocking entries, Kabahar Port's bold presence in Iran and the IMEC's $50 billion pipeline plan, show a nation willing to challenge global energy flows and bypass traditional choke points. Across all seven projects, a clear pattern emerges. Each initiative transforms dependence into autonomy, chaos into order, and vulnerability into strategic power. Whether it's deep tunnel metros, digital sovereignty via 15,000 kilometers of subsea cables, or smart manufacturing corridors, every ranked project pushes India from regional player to global influencer. What made these entries qualify wasn't just scale or cost, but their ability to shift geopolitical dynamics, create new economic routes, and spark regional tensions. Together, they prove that modern infrastructure isn't just about steel and concrete. It's about rewriting the rules of global trade, security, and technology. India's building spree is sending shockwaves worldwide, signaling a new era in how nations project power and secure their futures.